Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, I am Penge, and welcome back to Spellcaster University, where last time we created this rather magnificent looking place just here, and this is the Cup of University, of course it is, a place where the students must have a cauldron full of delicious, fresh, hot tea, as well as all the other stuff they need to do their magical learnings, you know, like wands and books and broomsticks, and all that kind of stuff, they have to have tea, it's very important, it's one of the entry requirements to the of university. So last time we started with not much at all. We started with an entrance hall on an island in the middle of a lake. That was kind of it really. We didn't have anything else going for us and we've added some quite interesting rooms. We've got the basic stuff here. So a dormitory and a sort of place where they can eat like a sort of canteen refectory type thing. There's a little sort of student restroom up there. Then we've got ourselves a nature room. That's where they can learn about nature magic. Then down here is a place where they can do alchemy, so they can learn about potions. Here is an arcana room. There was a little bit of an incident here last time where some sort of crazy portal swirly thingamajig opened, um, but that was sorted out by the teacher, so that's lovely. I mean, the crowning, the crowning room that we have at the moment, the best room that we've got, is this just here. This is the Time Hall, and this is just marvellous. This is certainly the best room we've got right now. It's just amazing, and when we play Time Forward, all those cogs and things move, and everything moves about, and it's all rather beautiful. And this is the Enchanter's Workshop, so we've got quite a lot of good things going on here. Now, we do have quite a few options down here too. We could get ourselves a card from the base deck, which might be quite nice. We're not too far away from getting an Alchemy deck card, which is also very welcome. And we can get ourselves, I think, maybe two Arcana deck cards as well. So let's grab ourselves some cards, shall we? Let's start off and just get ourselves a few cards, because at the moment we're down to one card, which is just get five new students, which we'll keep for later on. So let's get ourselves a base deck card. Let's go here. So what can we have? We've already got an Arcana classroom, so I'm not so bothered about that. We've got one of those. And we can have a new house. That could be quite useful because when we get some more students, we may want to create another new house. And we've got a hunting trophy. The characters move much faster in this room. I'm not so bothered about that. Let's get the new house card. Thank you very much. It's going to take a long while for us to get another one of those. 300 gold we're going to need. It's going to take ages to get another base deck card. So uh, let's go down here then. Let's get an Arcana deck card. Let's see what this is going to give us. So we can have a rather fantastic interdimensional room. <laughs> it sounds brilliant. So yeah, that's the portal magic room. We can have a... Hang on a minute, a what? A <laughs> that, that is a microwave, a heating box of the future in which they're heating. It looks like a chicken. It might well be a chicken. So we can have a microwave. What does that do? Active characters in the room see their hunger decrease. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. How does it describe a microwave? A white cube with an opening on the front. A few minutes after putting food in it, it rings. The food that comes out of it is then magically warm is very common in this school. <laughs> I imagine it is. So um, or we could have a royal banner character activity in this room enhances your reputation with the king. That is quite tempting. That is quite tempting, but we're going to have to go for the interdimensional room. If we can get students to learn about portal magic as well as time magic, that's got to be a good thing against the oncoming forces of evil. If we can trick them with time magic and then interdimensional portals, that's got to be very good, hasn't it? So we'll pick that. And then I think we've got, yeah, 200 is for the next Arcana card. So yes, we will have another one of those, please. So now we can have ourselves an Elementalist's Dojo where they improve their Elementalism skill. Now, I think if I get that... That completes the set of uh, classrooms where they can hone their specific skills in the arcana tree. Because I think there's time magic, there's portal magic, and there is elementalism magic. So if I get that, that means that the students can learn all the three disciplines of arcana magic in specific classrooms. That might be worth doing. Um, guidance office is a student can gain an additional choice of future upon graduation. Right, okay, so when the students graduate, they are given a future, which I guess depends on how well they did. And then um, if we give, put that in, that means that they can choose an extra one. Okay, interesting. And then Belvedere allows a character to observe the landscape, which greatly reduces their boredom and raises mental health. This elegant Belvedere also generates prestige. I don't know if I've, if I've pronounced that right. 
Belvedere, Belvedere. I assume it's Belvedere. I don't know. But it's kind of a, a balcony. A lovely balcony, pointy, towery thing. I think we're going to have to go for the Elementalist Dojo. I think that's an absolute must. I mean, it does mean that we're going to have to get some more teachers. We are going to have to get some more teachers. Also, I just thought, do, do we need to pay the teachers every so often? Because we've only got 14 gold. I possibly need some more gold. Let's grab ourselves an Elementalist Dojo. And right now, let's just move time on and just see if we get any money from anything. Yeah, we could do with getting some more money because people are going to be very, very cross if they're not being paid. Right, what's this over your heads? You're hungry. Okay. Well, you go home, do you? Oh, do the teachers go home? Oh, I thought the teachers would have gone to the refectory, but no, that's just for students. Um, hello there, sir. I like your specs. Look at my beautiful Ar Archimage. Okay. Dear colleague, it's always good to see you. I have some interesting news to tell you. One of our students recently became an Archimage, and he wasn't the smartest guy in the class either. What do you want? The miracle of our modern ped pedagogy? Certainly. And you, on your side, I think you have trained good herbalists, right? Um, yes? Who are you? Are you a teacher from another school, I assume? Um, also, pedagogy, which is what the teachers have, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, is kind of a ye olde way of saying the method of teaching, I believe people said in the comments on the previous video. So, um, yes, this person teaches correctly, which is why the students progress at a normal pace. If you obviously teach badly, then yes, it's going to impact the students. Okay, so what do we do to this, this guy with his amazing glasses on? Um, we can say receive the quest, Archimage, it's the best of the best, and five prestige points. That could be worth having. Um, lose five prestige points by saying indeed, and I'm delighted for you, don't doubt it. Or, oh, we can't do that. We haven't got 50 prestige points, so we can't choose this option. So really, it's either lose five, which seems a bit silly, or gain five, but also get a quest. Okay. Archimage, it's the best of the best. Uh, okay. And, ah, yes, right, we have some students to put in as well. Right, so immediately, you're a racist, so you can just clear off. Bye-bye now. You're very aggressive. What does that do? When insults another student, his insult results in the loss of much more sanity. I don't know if I want kind of bully people in. No, away with you. Amorphous and nerdy sounds tremendous. So you lose sanity a bit quicker and you move a bit slower. But you are quite comical. You look a bit sad, Zachary Corrigan. Please don't be sad. You can go into the, the light class. You look sad as well. You, you're good at food. You're pretentious and a bit nerdy. Uh, we'll put you into there as well. Is that it? That, that was not particularly the cream of the crop in terms of students, was it? They were not the finest bunch that we got sent. Um, okay, so we're slowly gathering some gold. That's just from having people here, which is marvellous. Um, another thing has popped up. Um, yeah, I assume that we communicate via hamsters. I think that's how we communicate. So last time in this little conversational bit, we went to see the king. Uh, where do we want to go this time? The Inquisitors are a religious lot. I don't know if they're going to like us. Because they're probably not going to like us due to our magical powers. They're not really going to be too fond. How about the Guild Tavern? Should we go and see the Adventurers? That might be quite nice. Let's go and see the Adventurers. Yes, I would love to contact you. So, meeting with the Adventurers Guild. Hello, Adventurers Guild. Hail. So, welcome to the Guild. What do you want? Hire a team of Adventurers to loot a dungeon. This is our specialty. But we also offer other services. So, together... We can fight the armies of darkness. And that gets his reputation with them and loses reputation with the Lord of Evil. You know, considering he's coming to kill us all, I'm not so bothered about losing reputation with the Lord of Evil. Um, we're on the same side. Wouldn't you have some loot to share with us? So we lose a bit of reputation with them, but we do get a big pile of gold. Or, I was going to say, I bet we can't do that one. But yeah, so uh, we have to have a reputation of 50 to do that. If we choose that, we lose a bunch of reputation with them, but they give us a card. Together, we can fight the armies of darkness. Okay, so we just sent them a message. Now, one thing I don't know is how we control that. Like, how often do we get to communicate with other people? Is there a bar that fills up? Like, is it is it just ticking up and we get to do it every so often? Or is there something I can do to hurry that up? I am not entirely sure. Um, okay, another student intake coming in. I'm not entirely sure. Do we want a load of students right now? Go on, let's see if they're good ones. Generalist and sneaky. Yeah, absolutely. You can go and you can go into sparkles, that's fine. Hard worker, coward, and a social. 
You work less efficiently in crowded rooms. The rooms are going to be quite crowded at the minute. Let's get rid of you for now. Generalist and Gourmet. Oh, you're good. George Ray, you're quite good. You look a little bit stern as well. You look a little bit, in fact, no, not stern, glum. You look a little bit glum. You are hyperactive. You do a lot of stupid things, but you move faster. Okay, you can go into the, you can go into House Tea Leaves. Oh, and Gertrude Iron Fist just looks very jolly indeed. She just looks lovely. And uh, she's got no traits. Now, a few people, I just remembered this, a few people have said, oh, you've picked some tricky people here with their sort of intelligence and their money and stuff um, that, that might not be the best. Yeah, I kind of forgot about these until just then when I saw no traits and then thought, oh, yeah, they've got these things here. So they have intelligence levels as well and wealth. So she's fairly wealthy. Imagine that's fairly wealthy. So any gold gains from her go up by 25% and she's lawful good and she's got no traits. You can go into House Sparkles. There you go. Ned Iron Fist. Ned Iron Fist is brilliant. He increases learning speed by 40%. He's allergic to pollen. So let's put him into House Sparkles, not into House Tea Leaves. Um, You are ruined. So you're not going to generate much gold. You're a bit silly. You're neutral good. You're athletic. You're comic. You're gothic and you're ugly. Do you know what? You're a bit silly. So it's going to reduce your learning speed by 20% and you're not going to bring much money in. So I'm sorry, Wilson, but I have, I have cast you aside. Oh dear, the students have created another interdimensional rift or whatever this is. I mean, I don't think it's fire. I don't think this is flames. Although there is a cloud put in the map, but look, it's got bits in it. I think it's like some sort of crazy interdimensional portal thingamajig. Um, okay, we're getting some gold back. Ah, we can get ourselves an alchemy card. Let's do that, shall we? So we can either have a multifunctional cauldron. Okay, so it's a cauldron with lots of extra widgety bits on it. All active characters in the room see their hunger, tiredness, and boredom slightly decrease. This is not enough to cancel out their natural increase. Okay, but it sort of brings down hunger, tiredness, and boredom a little bit. We can get a blue dragon who increases alchemy learning for some students. Or we can get the Runic Scriptorium. Another game with the word Scriptorium in, because the Guild 3 has that in as well. A classroom where students can quickly improve their runes skills. The room is associated to a teacher. I think let's get a Runic Scriptorium in. There we go. They sound very exciting. Okay, let's put the interdimensional room in, shall we? Let's get that in. And I think it can go next to the, uh, the Tower of Time just there. Let's drop that in just there. Let's have a look at the interdimensional room. It looks marvellous. Hello, merchants. The merchant guild is very interested in your new university. You look a little bit sneaky, sir. You've got a slightly sneaky face. Don't rob us. Maybe we could even provide you with some funds. But in return, we expect you to make your university a profitable investment. You will have to collect 4,000 gold coins. Well, I think we could actually come to an agreement, receive 200 gold and get a quest... Or, we don't care about your money, our cause is nobler than that. Okay, so we get five prestige points. So we tell people, we tell the merchants to clear off and a new event triggers. Or, we get a quest. How do we find out? We got a quest before, didn't we? How do we find out where our quests are? Maybe it's in one of these books down here. Um, we receive 200 gold and get a merchant guild quest. But they wanted to get 4,000 gold coins. I'd rather keep the uh, gold and spend it on improving the university rather than saving it up for you guys because you want it to be an investment. So let's do this. We don't care about your money. Our cause is nobler than that. So five prestige points, new event inbound. Okay, a nobler cause. I'm glad you declined the merchant's proposal. We will be able to focus on our real goal to bring magic to all. We should try to train at least 110 students... Really? Let's try. Receive the quest Magic for All. Okay, right. Pause time for a second. How do we find out where our quests are? Uh, there's all sorts of things down here. The director's office. Is this is this my office? Oh, this is a wonderful thing. There's flashy green things. What's this? Rules? Oh. Oh, there's all sorts of different rule things that we can change. <gasps> This is very exciting. Discipline. So, okay, right. So gender men and women. Yes, we'll let everybody in. I don't want to be sort of, you know, discriminatory to anyone. That's not fair. Discipline. Reason discipline. Um, they're very classic. No effects. So lax discipline. 
They cause more disasters but get bored less quickly. Or strict discipline. They cause fewer disasters but get bored faster. I'm quite happy with the down the middle there. Other rules. Organise an annual competition between houses. Students learn 10% faster but recover their tiredness, hunger and boredom 30% slower. That sounds quite detrimental. Tiredness, hunger and boredom 30% slower for only a 10% increase in learning. That doesn't sound very good. Students say one year less. New students graduate one year earlier. Okay, that doesn't sound very good either. Or obtain the support of a patron. Every season you receive gold, but you lose a bit of prestige. Okay, I don't really want that either. Right, pre-selection. Most educated students and average student candidates are a bit more intelligent. Oh, students from noble families, they're a bit richer. The most mentally stable, they have a less chance. Ah, they've got a chance to have one less negative trait or no pre-selection. It attracts a few more students. Oh, this is very intriguing. I mean, I'm quite tempted to get the most educated. They're a bit more intelligent, which does make me wonder about the ones we've got right now, because I just sort of threw everyone in and went, there you go, <laughs> it's fine, just bring everybody in. I didn't kind of look at how intelligent some of them were. I quite like the idea of that. Let's get a bit more intelligent students in, because they're going to be better. They're going to end up with better results at the end. Um, registration fees, free, no, that sounds a bit silly, 15 gold coins or 30. Yeah, I quite like 15. I imagine 30 makes it less appealing. Yeah, okay. Um, dormitories, free dormitories, which is what we've got now. Paid dormitories, you earn a little money when students use dormitories, but they lose their efficiency or self-managed. It reduces the maintenance cost, but dormitories are less efficient. Okay, I'm kind of happy with free right now. And then wages. Okay, so we pay them three, we pay them six, we pay them ten. Uh, what do we do? They get more money, but at the higher money they get, uh, they get tired, bored and hungry less quickly. Okay, and the dining hall, free meals, paid meals. Ah, students bring in some money when they use the refectory, but dining halls are less effective. Or organic meals. Each stable and greenhouse near a refectory increases its efficiency. I don't think we've got a stable or a greenhouse. I'll leave it on paid meals because that's presumably going to get us a bit of money. Um, yeah, OK, so the only change we're making is this. I wouldn't mind changing maybe that at some point, but maybe not right now. OK, so we'll sign that. So that was that was that thing, wasn't it? Yeah, OK, that was the rules. So what's this thing here? These are ah, these are the futures that the students are going to have. OK, fine. So this is all the different things that the students can become, I assume. So I don't know what this is going to be. I don't really know what this is going to be. So whether they're going to be warriors or, I don't know, fireball throwers or ice wizards or something, I do not know. We will find out at some point. OK, so that's that's my room. Um, That's the map. OK, communication unavailable right now. Right, you are. Um, Stats... Is just telling us how much mana we've earned for particular things, I assume. Oh, there's all sorts of stats. Oh, my goodness me. Right, there's a gazillion stats. Right, okay, so many, many... Aha! Ha ha! Goals. Here we go. That's where they are. This is what we're looking for. Um, So, Archimage. I, I, I would say Archmage, but it's got an I in it. So, Archimage. It's the best of the best. Form at least one Archimage during the mission. The more gifted a student is in multiple magic, the more likely he or she is to become an Archmage. Okay, so they need to have different disciplines. Okay, I and mean, we've got three things in right now. And magic for all, 110 students to finish their studies, no matter what their future may be. And then stuff. <laughs> Just a page called stuff. Unlocked in this level. We've got no stuff. Um. Okay. Right, so that's our two, our two missions then. So again, Archimage and teach 110 students. Okay, well, I mean, at the minute we've not taught any students to a sort of graduating level. So we need to make sure we can do that at some point. Um, does this have a, does that have a teacher assigned to it? Um, teachers unions forbid teaching in such a horrible room. So the students work here alone. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Okay, I see. This this place is a terrible room. A classroom allowing students to quickly improve their skills in portal magic. This room doesn't need a teacher, but it reduces the mental health of the students because it's just such a horrible, <laughs> trippy, nonsensical place. Yeah, so they're walking 
up the walls now. It's all gone a bit labyrinth. Um, okay, and they might walk through this door and come out this one, I assume. Oh, who knows what's going on. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, I want to see what happened with the students. Okay, right, hang on. We've got some more candidates. Um, uh, let's get ourselves... Uh, you're, you're fairly wealthy. Joe, we'll have you. You can go into uh, House Tea Leaves. You can go into House Tea Leaves. I might create the new house. I might create the new house and then move people about. Chosen of the light. Oh, absolutely. You can go down into house sparkles. You're allergic to pollen. You're dumb and you're poor. I'm sorry, Sandro Detritus. I, I'm being a little bit discriminatory there, but we've, we've kind of upped our uh, requirements for this place. We've upped our minimums. And um, yeah, you're going to learn 40% slower, which is just not very good, is it? That's not very good. So sorry, you'll find a job, uh, a place somewhere else. It's fine. Or you might find a job. I don't know. Craig Detritus. Um, okay, normal. You're ruined. Reduces all goal gains caused by this student by 50%. You are, however, ambitious. A better chance of obtaining the most beneficial futures at the end of your studies. You're amorphous and prosaic, so you learn arcana 50% slower. That's a bit of a shame. You can go into House Tea Leaves. Um, and you are Gourmet Comic. Yeah, we'll have you. Peggy Trilver will put you into House Sparkles. There we go. Right, what happens when they walk through that door? Or this window, or whatever that thing is. Oh, they come out here. Okay, of course they do. Um, hello. Who are you? A tribute to the tribes. We orcs need a few things, and we can take them from the weak humans. Ah, hello orcs. How are you? But you can also give us these things directly, so we don't have to squash you first. <laughs> win, win. Right, so so basically this is sort of extortion, right you are. We're always happy to pay tribute, so we pay 100 gold, but our reputation with the Orc tribes goes up by 15, which I guess might mean that they're not going to come and kill us quite as much. Um, that is reputation down. Um, you, all, you can always come, we will pay the price of blood. You're being attacked by four Orcs, or our alchemist can make you what you need. We have not got ourselves... A hundred alchemy mana, but I would have absolutely gone for that had we got that. 35 reputation increase just by, you know, knocking up some potions for them. I think we pay tribute. 15 reputation increase is okay, and we've got ourselves an okay amount of gold. So we'll pay tribute, we'll increase our reputation with the orcs. I think we can go and do some more talking to people as well. Let's go and see somebody who we've seen before. Let's go and see the adventurers again and see if we get any different options. So yes, I would like to contact them. So together we can fight the armies of darkness. Uh, we're on the same side. Artifact. Okay, so it looks like, unless you get lots of different options later in the game, it looks like what you do is you go back to the same ones and you kind of build up and up and up. You build the reputation up a bit. And then uh, you can then either say, hello, I'd like some gold, which then brings down the reputation a tiny bit. Or hello, I'd like some stuff. And you get a card. Okay. And then I guess if they come to you, and your reputation is high, you might have different options. Okay, well, let's just go together. We can fight the armies of darkness again. And I think let's get our new house into play. Let's get a new house into play. Hang on, right, pause time for a second. Pause, pause, pause. So, um, right, where where are they? Where are they? Classes and students. So we've got house tea leaves. They are learning alchemy and nature. And then house sparkles are going to be learning nature and uh, light and alchemy. Whereas the main class are just going to be learning arcane magic. In fact, the only thing they're not doing is the dark sinister stuff, which is the ombre magic. I think... I think we'll create a new house for arcane magic. I think that sounds like a good thing to do. So new house, and we will say you are not doing any of the... In fact, you can do nature, prioritise arcana, and no shadow, and no alchemy either. No alchemy, there we go. Unless we have something here that's quite good. That's unfortunate. Learn nature magic a bit quicker. Um, okay, so wise, less mischief. Or applied 10% more mana. That might be quite useful. Let's get that. So let's get more mana for the Arcana deck. And the second little skill thing is Passionate. So the fourth and final level of magic is learned quicker. Gourmet, they don't eat as much. Popular, double the gain or loss of prestige. No, we'll go for Passionate. Learn the final level of magic a bit quicker. Um, okay, right. So, I mean, this this is in no way representative of magical arcana stuff. So let's change the logo and the house name. 
There we go. So this house, which is going to primarily deal with the arcana magic, is going to be called House Wibbly Wobbly because they deal with time. And everybody assumes that time is a strict progression of cause to effect. But actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective point of view, it's just a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. So I think Wibbly Wobbly is a good name for this house. And to represent the portal side of things, because they're going to be going through portals. I've got this kind of crazy room just here. And we've got ourselves the orange and the blue, of course, and then a sand timer in the middle to kind of represent time, if you like. So I think that's good. We've picked the orange robes for them down there. So I think we'll sign that into existence. And then I think let's move people over from the main class into House Wibbly Wobbly. So let's just drag you down here. So that's quite helpful because it means that we can see who's in what house uh, without needing, uh, without being confused by who is in house tea leaves and who is in the main class because they did have the same kind of uh, robes. So it's quite handy now that we've got robes of three different colours. So yeah, house wibbly wobbly, house sparkles and house tea leaves. <laughs> this place is brilliant. I like it here. It's remarkable. So um, yeah, now how can we get rid of this? Can we get rid of this? Ah, there you go. Definitely removes the general house. You must have at least one other house and no students must be in it. Okay, yeah, nobody's in it. So I think we just get rid of the main, you know, the, the generic kind of class, which has got a very boring, that's very dull, isn't it? So, um, so yeah, the, the logo thing, the shield, coat of arms thing is very dull. So yeah, we'll get rid of that. So now we have our three houses, house tea leaves, house sparkles, house wibbly wobbly. So I'm quite happy with that. Now we just need another house really, don't we? We need one more house because, let's have a look again. Um, we've got these guys are gonna focus on nature. We've got these guys that are going to focus on uh, light magic, although we don't actually have any light magic buildings yet. So uh, they're also dealing with nature and alchemy. And then we've got House Wibbly Wobbly. <laughs> We're going to deal with the arcane magic. So it'd be nice if we could have another house that dealt solely in alchemy. Because at the minute we've got ourselves uh, specialising in nature, specialising in light, specialising in arcana, and then specialising in alchemy. And we're not having anybody doing the dark magic. We're not having dark magic going on here. This is an upstanding, nice, happy place. We're not having kind of evil, terrible necromancy and demon summoning going on. Oh, no, no, not here. And just have a quick check, and there they are. The students of House Wibbly Wobbly do have their new robes on, and they do look marvellous. I do prefer them in those. So yeah, there we go, look. So people are using that room. I think what we might do now is, just to finish off House Wibbly Wobbly's suite of rooms, they've got the time hall, they've got whatever that room's called, the interdimensional room. Why don't we put in the Elementalist Dojo as well? Let's drop that in. And that's their three disciplines done. And I think if we just drop it in right on the top of there, there we go. So we've got ourselves a little sort of arcana magic corner of the university, if you like. So we need a teacher to teach elementalism. And we can have Alexander Parkov or Emma O'Connor. Right now, immediately, his pedagogy or pedagogy, I don't, I don't know how to actually pronounce the word. His teaching methodologies, if you like, are poor. So students are going to learn 10% slower, which is bad. Hers is better. So um, hers, her pedagogy is better. So they will just progress at a normal pace. You're inspiring. So you might lose a negative trait, which is good. And you're athletic. Oh, no, but you're a racist. I'm sorry, Emma O'Connor. I cannot. I, it's just not acceptable. So even though you're going to teach people a bit slower, and you've got wisdom of the elders. Ah, that offsets your rubbish teaching abilities. There you go. So you're going to learn quicker. So it'll even out. And you're a gourmet. So your hunger decreases uh, faster when you eat. Um, you're an old man. Indeed, yes. <laughs> the majority of our teachers seem to be old men. So you move a bit slower. Um, and you're a bit pretentious. That's fine. We'll have you, Alexander Parkov. There you go. Um, and I think we've got a couple more things here. Let's go and talk to the orcs. Food, glorious food. We're hungry. Hmm, what can I do? It's going to trigger a new event. Okay, a little bit scared. Food, glorious food. The human will find us something to eat. Otherwise, we will eat the human and the little humans who live in a human's house. Oh, my goodness me. We'll also eat the house of the human in which the human and the little humans live. And probably also human pets with aromatic herbs. Okay, right, okay. <laughs> so, they're hungry. Um, I suggest to eat the peaceful villagers in the neighbourhood. Um, okay, so they want to either eat the peasants and then people in the kingdom. That's bad. We'll make you some waffles. 
has at least one morbidly obese waffle apparatus. I don't think we've got that. Let's discuss it over a big raclette. I don't know what that is. Um, I can't click that, I assume. I can't click the waffles thing either. We have nothing to offer you. Reputation with the Orc tribes goes down 30. Oh dear. I would rather lose reputation with the Orc tribes than lose reputation with the kingdom and the peasants, because they're more like us. Um, and you know, the Yorks are always going to be violent and angry and stabby. So I think we might just have to say, look, the reputation with the Orc tribes goes down a bit. Go and eat somebody else, please. I assume at some point they're going to come and attack us. The Orcs are going to come and attack us. We've got some more people coming on. Um, okay. Um, you're very aggressive. Oh, but you are smart. That could be handy. Let's put you in house, wibbly wobbly. Um, initiated to alchemy. Ah, we'll have you, and then we'll move you over when we create our fourth alchemy house. Um, let's put you in. Um, oh no, hang on a minute. Where were you? Very aggressive. Oh, okay, you're a bit silly, and you're poor. You reduced the learning speed. Um, okay, going to house tea leaves for now. That's fine. Chosen of the light. Into House Sparkles with you. You're brave. That's good. Damage in combat. Let's put you into House Wibbly Wobbly. There's not many people in House Wibbly Wobbly right now. So let's get some people in. Um, money is going up quite nicely indeed. We might well at some point be able to get ourselves another base deck card. So we can do that now. I want to keep a little bit of money behind just to uh, just to make sure we can pay people's wages and what have you. Uh, the nature deck, we'll soon be able to get one of those as well. Um, Arcana deck, yes. Alchemy deck, not quite. Okay, yeah, it's going to take a little while. Let's have a look at that in there. What are they doing in here? What are they doing? He's learning about uh, learning about potions and alchemy and stuff. Okay, they look a bit bored to be fair, but okay, yeah, they're learning some stuff. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, we're getting loads of gold. Lots of lovely gold. This is marvellous. So yeah, if we could do some nature learning, that would be good. It looks like it looks like um, uh, the house tea leaf are actually mostly down here at the minute. That's absolutely fine. That's okay. They can they can chill out down here. They can have some food and stuff. Um, oh, oh, somebody's opened a portal. <laughs> okay, right. Three candidates. Neil. Ah, we get less candidates each time. It's because we've said I want smarter ones so we get less applications. Okay. Hard worker, deaf, and amorphous. You learn magic 10% faster because you're deaf. You learn it 15% slower. Ugh, it doesn't compute. Um, You can join. You can go into house wibbly wobbly. You're resilient and hyperactive. Uh, you're normal. Yeah, okay. You can go into house wibbly wobbly. You're a bit silly and you're poor, but you are brave. Emma Gaspode. Do you know what? Into house wibbly wobbly as well. House wibbly wobbly is doing very well. There is a <laughs> there is a portal opened up, and it is sort of three dimensional. That's kind of cool. I like that. You can see sort of through it. There's different things. What are they? Can we zoom in any more? Can we go through the portal? Uh, I think we might have gone through the. Oh, hang on a minute. No, we can still go through the portal, but it just takes us into the classroom. Okay, that's fine. Um, hello, dragon dealer. Training schools have dragons. We've got one, thanks. He's green. In the first case, happens to have dragons 125 gold pieces each. Um, no thanks. All right, I'll take a dragon. Um, or give us some time. Um, do you know what? Why not? Let's get ourselves a dragon. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, we'll take a dragon, please. Blue is for alchemy. Black is for shadow. White is for light magic. Um, well, let's get that one because people might actually be learning alchemy. We're not going to be learning light magic because we've got none of the cards for it. And we're definitely not going to do shadow magic because we're not evil. So yeah, we'll have a blue dragon. Thank you very much. And can somebody shut this portal, please? It was a terrifying portal. Um, where can you go? Uh, ah, the only problem is that we cannot play our dragon. Our blue dragon cannot be deployed because there's no suitable spots to actually play the dragon card. Okay, that's a shame at the minute. Never mind. Never mind. That's okay. We'll have to leave it for now. Ah, right. We can get ourselves another Arcana deck card. That might be worth doing. So let's just click and see if that's going to be worth doing. A big hourglass. <laughs> Active students in this room slightly increase their skills in time magic. A magic hat. Our active teachers in this room have a chance to improve. Ah! Oh, that's quite good. The teachers put on a magic hat and become a better. Or the guidance office. Oh, which one of these do we go for? 
That is time magic skills increase, but that makes the teachers a bit better. I'm quite tempted by the magic hat. Oh, the big hourglass does sound quite funny. <laughs> it's just a massive hourglass. Um, it must be torture to work with this alongside. Minutes are longer, but at least students understand the true value of time. Oh, it makes time slower. Oh, that sounds terrible. A sorcerer without a magic hat is like a bird without a feather. Ridiculous. A bit harsh, but okay. Um, which one do we go for? I, I'm kind of I'm going to do away with the guidance office for now. I'm not so bothered about that right now. Let's go for let's go for the big hourglass because it sounds fun. Um, can we play the? Hang on a minute. Why have you just popped up in the corner? What do you want? Hang on, hang on. What is this? What, what, I don't understand what's going on. Why is this happening? Fun joke or board? What's happening here? I don't really understand what this is. Has he lost one of his things? Hang on. What's this? A pretentious character in the same room increase boredom. Or fun joke. A comic character in the same room reduce boredom. Why is there a plus? I don't understand what's going on here. Why have these things popped up? Fun joke? Am I supposed to do something with that? Okay, that was a bit weird. Anyway, right. Where can the big hourglass go? So what does it do again? Time magic. Well, given they're doing time magic, we should either put it in here or in the room with the giant time clock in it. Um, well, given they're learning time in here, let's pop it into there. So we'll put a massive hourglass in here as well, <laughs> just to make them even more acutely aware of the terrible passage of time. It's communications time. Let's go and have another word with the king, shall we? Let's go and have a chat with the king. So I think we're just going to have to do that one again. Aren't we? We're just going to have to say, hello, can I increase my reputation with you? So later on, I might be able to get some nice stuff. Um, you've popped up as well. University specialization. For any good magic school, we need a special subject on which we will concentrate our efforts. This is essential to shine internationally. Okay. So what do we pick then? So Arcana Specialist, Light Specialist, Alchemy Specialist, Nature Specialist. Okay, now this this is this is tricky because the person who gifted this game to me assured me that alchemy is, ve is very geek cupboard penge sort of suitable. But we don't have much in the way of alchemy right now. We've not got much of the rooms and yeah, we've, we've not got a house for it yet. But I kind of feel like I should say, yes, we'll go down alchemy. Um, Arcana Magic is the one we've got all three, I believe, anyway, rooms available to teach three disciplines in it. But I, I kind of want to go down Alchemy. I like the idea of it, just because I've been assured by the person that gifted me the game that that is suitable <laughs> to the channel. So, Joe, you know what? We'll pick Alchemy. And just to kind of celebrate that, let's put in the Runic Scriptorium. Um, oh, and it's a, it's a little room. Oh, it can go just here. It can absolutely go just there. So, right, we need to get a teacher. We can get Chloe O'Neill, who looks a little bit stern, or Henrietta Penalta, who looks slightly friendlier. Look at that. You got a sort of uh, stern kind of lady with a pinched face and her glasses perched on her nose. She looks a bit grumpy. Well, this lady here, she looks happy and lovely and smiley. She's got a kind face. Um, although she is evil. Oh, oh she's... <laughs> She, she's chaotic evil, and she looks it. Um, oh, but she's got poor pedagogies. Um, so she's diligent. She moves faster, and she's a gourmet. She's demanding. So she wants a bit more money. That's fine. And she's hyperactive. So she does some stupid things, but moves faster. She's inspiring and popular, uh, but she does have a destabilizing presence, and she procrastinates, and the students learn 10% slower. Um, but inspiring is quite good. A small chance of losing a random negative trait. I think we may have to go for Chloe O'Neill, if only because she's got a decent pedagogies and, um, and yeah, her effects here are not quite as bad. So she wants a higher salary. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. We'll save up enough gold. And then, um, yeah, she moves a bit faster because her bad things are slower and students learn slower. And she procrastinates, so she acts and is exhausted 25%. So, yeah, generally all round, she's kind of worse, even though she has a very kindly face. So let's pick the slightly evil and strict-looking Chloe O'Neill. So now we've got someone there, and we need to get some more students in. There's only two candidates. You're a bit silly, Ah, but you are a child of nature. Into house tea leaves with you. And you're allergic to pollen, and you're deaf. You're a bit silly, and you're poor. You are an orphan... If this student is killed, you do not lose prestige. That's terrible. <laughs> that's, 
That was really terrible. Um, and they're pretty. So they lose much less sanity um, if they're insulted because they don't care because they're awesome. Do we want you? You're a bit silly and you're poor and you're deaf. So you're learning all magic 15% slower and you're allergic to pollen. So you can't even do nature magic. Poor as well and a bit silly. So your learning speed is down by 20, 35%. Do you know what, Leonard Gaspard? I'm very sorry, but I'm going to have to just chuck your application in the bin, I'm afraid. Uh, okay. Ah, now, can we get the dragon in? Oh, I thought we could put the dragon in that um, chemistry, not chemistry, you know what I mean? Alchemy, it's sort of chemistry, into there. But um, unfortunately not. However, we can get ourselves a card from the alchemy deck. Uh, yeah, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we can get an Alembic. Active character in the room have a chance to generate... Al cool component cards. I don't know what that means. I don't know what one of those is. What is an al cool component? Um, oh, oh alcohol. Oh, is it alcohol? The students do practical work in it. The teachers distill their own whiskey. Oh, so it might be an alcohol. Is it a spoke wrong? Or that's what they call it in the game. I don't know. Drooler, a creature that moves around and gradually cleans the rooms it walks through. Okay. Do the rooms need cleaning? Do I need to hire a cleaner of some description? Okay, so it's like a dribbly monster. Or the library. Up to two students can work at the library to strengthen their best magic. Yes, please, we'll have a library. And where can we put the library? Um, do you know what? Just there. That'll do. So I can go into the library. Let's just zoom into the library and see what it looks like in there. It looks tremendous. Look at all the very exciting books. Um, let's have a quick look at the room we just added as well. The, uh, whatever this one's called. The Runic Scriptorium. Uh, it looks a bit boring, doesn't it? <laughs> let's be honest. It looks a little bit drab. It's got some benches and some paper. And it doesn't look the most exciting of rooms. When you compare it to the Magic Room of Time. Or the Room of Many Portals. Or the Dueling Room. Oh, look at that. Yes, this is a room where they have a little battle, is it? Hang on, we need to watch this. So he doesn't know what he, he looks a little bit nervous. His wand is on fire. That's it. There we go. Do do an Expelliarmus thing. There you go. Expelliarmus. By the way, um, I'd like to point out that um, I, I intentionally did not mention Harry Potter or Hogwarts or anything in the first part of, uh, of uh, Spellcast University. I thought it was a little bit too... It was a bit too obvious. So I set myself the goal of not mentioning anything Harry Potter related because obviously it will be very, very easy indeed to make Harry Potter references because we're building a university full of magic people. So um, so yeah, I, I intentionally didn't do it for the first one but now I think, yeah, free reign. We can make as many Harry Potter references as we like. Right, hello person holding a slightly ominous burning torch. We tolerate your university of heretical wizards Oh, you're the religious guys up on the hill. Okay. If they want compensation, we're here to collect the tithe. A tax that will be used to finance our teams of witch hunters. Ironic, isn't it? Oh, you wags. Uh, not really. And now leave before I turn you into a toad. We pay. We don't want any trouble. We would be paying 100 gold. Do you know, we're training inquisitors here. We're on the same side. That requires a truth chamber, which we don't have. In the Great Book of Purity, it is said that the tithe is 50 gold coins, not 100. Okay. We don't have the Great Book of Purity, I am afraid. We don't have... Oh, sorry. The Sacred Book of the Inquisition. Um, do you know what? These guys are never going to like us. Are They're going to be a thorn in our side. So, um, so uh, no, go away or I'll turn you into a toad, you silly man. A school without discipline? The parent committee... Uh-oh. Oh, no. The parents are getting involved. Oh, dearie me. The parent committee has heard that discipline is an increasingly blurred concept in your school. The young had no respect for elders these days. I hope you'll take an action against this state of affairs. Um, not really. Uh, not at all, in fact. So that is... We've got some chains. No, we have no chains. That is beautiful jails. No, we haven't got a jail either. Or you must be exaggerating. We lose 3.9 prestige points. Oh, that's quite a hefty hit. Troublesome parents getting involved. Oh, we were nearly at 40. Now it's come down to 35. That's a bit of a shame. I can't help but noting that this horrendous sort of, I don't know what it is still, this sort of, I don't know, interdimensional rift thing is, is still here. It's still being interdimensional. It's still being rifty. Um, and the, the students are just running away from it. So, I mean, how does that go away? Ah, the teacher's coming in. Right, are you going to sort this out? It'd be good if you could stop this thing being here because no one can use this room. <laughs> just, he's just not bothered. He just walks through the interdimensional rift. 
He's seen all this kind of thing before. He's absolutely fine. And a little bit of rain puts that out. I'm still not sure whether it's fire or a portal or whatever. Whatever the case, I th yeah, he sorted it. It's all sorted. Right, we can do some communication. I think let's go and talk to the king again and just flatter him a little bit more. Got some more students coming in. You're a bit silly, but you're wealthy. You can go into house uh, wibbly wobbly. There we go. Right, okay. So let's just push time on until maybe we can get 200 alchemy. Not quite on 200 alchemy, but we are being approached by this slightly officious looking man. A trainee has just rediscovered a secret entrance to the former archives of King Boktalon IV. We're a little afraid to venture there, but maybe you could help us explore it. It is said that they contain very valuable forms and permits. Oh wow, valuable forms? This sounds amazing. <laughs> Quickly everybody, gather round, look at the exciting forms. An administrative dungeon... No, thank you, that's nice. Of course, we will finance an expedition for 50 gold. Or, ah, two librarians. We've not trained any librarians. Although, that implies that our students in their futures, when they graduate, can be trained as a librarian. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, I think we'll finance an expedition, because that might come back and be quite useful. It's only 50 gold. We've just gone over 600. So, yes, we'll have a bit of that, thank you. And do you know what we'll do? I think we'll stop there. We'll stop for now. We've got ourselves uh, 550 gold. So we could draw an extra base deck we, uh, card. We could get ourselves a nature deck card. Things are looking good for the arcana deck as well. And indeed the alchemy deck. So I would like next time when we come back, we'll run the game on and we'll just get ourselves enough arcana ma uh, mana to get another card and enough alchemy mana to get another card. And then we'll treat ourselves to four cards at once. So we'll get ourselves a regular card, nature card, arcana card, and alchemy card. And it shall be glorious. And hopefully we'll get something that lets us do anything with light magic. Because we have a house of light magic that, that we've got nothing for them to do. <laughs> There's no light magic rooms for them to learn in. So hopefully we can get some light magic underway next time. But we'll finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in Spellcaster University. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put out on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick.